we are back. And this time not with Super Mario 3D World, but with Bowser's Fury. And I am very excited because this is essentially the new Mario game we're getting. This is the main Mario studio that just made this. This isn't like a secondary studio. This is the guys who made Odyssey. This is the guys who made Galaxy. So this is the next mainline Mario, but they it's a smaller package, it's not like a full lane. But they put it as a bonus to the other game. But this is something we could expect, and I've been seeing a lot of stuff about it online, and I'm actually very excited to play this. I think it, it actually innovates on the, on the series in ways that we haven't seen Mario do before, and you'll see what I mean. Where it was inverted colors. Let's watch this. I have not seen this, so really excited. Sunshine. So it's interesting because they did that intro in very much the Mario 3D world style where you're seeing them from a perspective and then he falls into a fully 3D world, which this is. So that's really cool. Oh, interesting. It doesn't let me look up or down, but side to side. Alright, but so before we go any further, I would like to count all of the cats. Everything is cat themed. But is everything cat themed? And how many things are there that are cat themed? I can see two already on screen. So, welcome in our cat count. We will have a little cat count. But right now I see two. I see the bushes, and I see the flowers. The flowers are cat paws, the bushes have cat ears. But we have two. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Much better than counting Luigi. You got it. All right, so let's let's go through here. But yeah, this game has oh oh. Why is there ship crashed here? The signs are themed like cats! <laughs> That's what I noticed! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! Come on, Mario, this is no time to wall jump. Make the lighthouse shine. Lighthouse is also themed. So we have two more. Signs and lighthouse. Oh, oh, he has a help. Also, I think this is the darkest we've ever seen Bowser. Like, Bowser's always kind of like, oh, I'm the bad guy, but I'm not really that mean. Oh, look at that sprite. That's a cool sprite. That's a really badass sprite. Ooh. Ooh, I'm liking the music. I'm liking the music. I have four things. Oh, I didn't add trees. Five. <laughs> oh, new game. How was it? Eh, it was all. Was, wait, is the bird cat theme? Is the bird cat thing? <laughs> yes, <laughs> the bird. <laughs> How do I zoom? <laughs> Six on the cat counter. It was all right, but I'm honestly very much more excited about this because this is an actual new Mario game. 
that we're getting to experience. And the interesting thing is, is that it's made in the... in the 3D World engine, which is very interesting. So it retains a lot of the things from 3D World, but it's fully 3D now. It's not like that semi-3D uh, 3D World one. What's up, Junior? Okay, Bowser. Mm-hmm. Went crazy with goop. Is this your doing? You're the one with a paintbrush. Did he paint him black and then he became evil? It looks like Bowser Jr. is in trouble. Mario. Mario! No, that's... Mario! I don't... Mario! Daddy's out of control! I don't know what happened! I tried to help him, but he's too big and mad! Can't change that back by myself. Mario's not convinced. Mario's like, you did this, kid. I know you. I'd never ask you for help, never ever. But I'll do anything to save Papa. Oh, help me, Mario. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like you're suffering a lot. I <laughs> guess I'll help. <laughs> You've teamed up with Bowser Jr. But how much should he help you? Uh, help a little, a lot, none, little. You've asked for Bowser Jr. help a little. A lot of people are saying this could have been a DLC for um, Odyssey. And what's the only theme that Odyssey didn't go to the only location? Sunshine. And this actually calls back a lot of sunshine related things. Like Junior with the, the thing, a lot of paint themes. Even the Junior's paint logo at the beginning, it's all from Sunshine. So a lot of people thought that maybe this was just a mode that never got. Uh, do we count this? I don't think this has a non-cat counterpart, so I think this... So, here's a big new change that this game has for, uh, for the Mario formula. And you might not be able to notice this per se just from this beginning. Junior! Okay, I don't want Junior helping me. Oh wait, I kind of do. Just for the secrets though. I want him to help me less, but I, I, I want him to tell me where the secrets are. But he's helping me a little bit too much. <laughs> Uh, so this is all one big seamless world? Oh! <gasps> cats! Cats! No. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, cats! They're so cute! Bowser Jr., please help me! They think I'm a cat! Oh no! Oh no, they're following me, Bowser Jr. Oh. So, should we count this sign as a different point on cat counter? Or should it be the same as the first sign? The death sign? I guess we could consider- oh, rain! No! 
考えキーボードだけどそれは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。それは、私はバウザーを取ることができます。Not only spawned、uh, Toad Treasure Tracker, but it, it's spawning its own Mario game.、Now. And, you know, they could have used Odyssey's engine or something like that, but they're actually just using,、uh, you know, 3D World to make this. I feel like I. So the Rumble, they do make use of the HD Rumble on the Switch. And so I'm, I'm actually feeling t h a t Are we finding hidden cats? Anything that's cat themed. We're find, find, finding anything that is cat themed that usually isn't. So, like, you know, the cat bell is usually cat themed. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Whoa! It's a Giga Bell! I heard a cool saying about these. I think it was when the beast rises, the Giga Bell will ring or something. Maybe we gotta get this splotchy goop off first. Some more cat shines might do the trick. Alright. So he needs five cat shines. So yeah, it's crazy that 3D World has become kind of this hub of modern Mario. Also, something that a lot of people have said and I thought was just a really cool idea is that. The big advancement that this game makes in. Just a ma Mario. <gasps> It's my favorite dudes! Oh, they're Captain now, too. The biggest advancement that this game makes is that, as you noticed, when we enter a new island, it plays a different song. This is acting as the hub world as well as the levels. This is a fully open world Mario game where everything is on one map. This is the first time we're not loading into paintings, we're not loading into anything. We're just straight up going into the levels because they are all part of the world we're in. So, that is the first time in a Mario game where we get. We get just one seamless level. Wait, did I see something down there that I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, I did. Our friendly enemies. Were, and now I'm guessing these guys, the boomerang guys, are also cat themed. Okay. No cat boomerang guys. So that's another one. I don't need to pause for that. No! I did need to! Um. So, yeah, I did think there was something to say. Oh. Send Bowser Jr. to investigate. Thanks, Junior. <gasps> There's a cat shine. No Mario. Yeah, I probably need to be. Also, the music is cool. Deliciously Mario. Oh, oh, I feel. Oh. I feel like if this was a bigger world. Oh no! More evil kitties! Oh, I can only reach this. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, evil kitties! Oh, so I guess maybe every time I'm close to. Ooh, I'm close to one of these cat shines. Bowser comes out. I'll look a little Bowser Jr. I hadn't really noticed that. So yeah, it seems like every time I get close to one of the cat towers, Bowser comes out. 
I guess it's not as much about time. It's more about when I'm just releasing a power. Oh. It's very smart development, I'd say, too, because they're because they are reusing not only uh, 3D World's engine, but are, they're also reusing a lot of assets and stuff. So that's a smart way of making something creative without needing to... Oh, did I just miss a cat shine over there? I mean, a cat token? Cat coin? So if I look for Bowser right now... Oh wow, the enemy stayed displaced. There's only one guy up there. That's kind of how I left. Where's Bowser? Oh wow, there's stuff far off into the distance. That's cool. That's really cool. <gasps> Have those been changing every time I jump in the background? That's crazy. <laughs> And this is a smart little design thing I've been noticing too, just in the background. By giving us access... By giving us access to all the power-ups at any point, like they're doing, it means that they can make challenges that require specific ones at any point. So it's kind of like in... <gasps> Kitty! It's kind of like in... Uh, uh, Breath of the Wild, where they use all of the pads, uh, different abilities, and they, they can use it at any point because they know you have it. So they don't have to rely on one power-up in Breath of the Wild like they used to in the old games because they give you everything up front, and then they just mix and match each of the cool powers coming up. So here, they're actually doing the same thing with this item system. They're just giving you all the items that you need like, up front, or not just up front, but in, uh, uh-oh. In great amount. Cat bullies, that's number 10. But yeah, I think this this is just a very smart little thing that allows them to do way more things, gameplay-wise. Because they, with all the, say, in 3D World, they can't expect you to have a specific power up unless they give it to you in the level. So they can't throw something new right at the beginning of the level. So they have a lot more limitation because of that. And that's not something they have to worry about because of because of just this little thing that they did. Also, cat leaves among the wall leaves. Really? When the beast awakens, show so shall I. They do? <gasps> they do! Nice catch. Nice catch. That's 11. Nice one. I didn't even see that. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna have a bowser -y time. So before Bowser disappears, I actually want to find... Because there's quite a few areas here that I'm seeing. There's a light hint from the light out. If you want to avoid the Beast's Fury Blast, find some cover if that can be. There are also special blocks on each island that can be broken only by Fury Blasts. Try to find them. When disaster strikes, they may be... That's what I was about to... Mario! Okay, the camera positioning for this is actually... I will complain about that. I don't like it. Here comes Bowser. Bell rings. Bell tolls for cat. No! I wanted that. Real bad. I guess I'll be coming back. Okay, so I'm gonna... Where's Bowser? Yeah, I want you to burn these. There we go. See, that's a cool... Oh, and they don't show you. They don't show you the the total amount you can get on the island. The cat bombs? I did count the trees, but cat bombs? <gasps> okay. <laughs> Hello. Thank 
Thank you! Cat bombs? You mean the bushes? That's another cat shine. Oh, and you see they show up maybe in the order that you could have gotten them. Oh! Are you seeing that? So the- I didn't even notice that the buttons on the lighthouse are, are the amount that you have. That's cool. So each of them could have possibly five, depending maybe some of them have more. There's just so many little details that kind of give you a, a clue to what you're- to what you can expect. It's very interesting. Wait, did Mario just run on the water? Can I- Enter shell. <laughs> How do I stop this? Interesting. Okay. That's a new way to use it. That's a new way to use it. Oh, we're, we already have the Mac. So this actually makes it quite easy to travel around the island. Oh, so each island has five, five shines. So like, it's not just this area that we have open, all of the, this conglomerate of islands, but each single, every single island has five. That's a lot. I need to get a closer look at that one. Wait, are they furry? They're furry. <laughs> what was my picture? Look at that. <laughs> They're furry. So. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, the bullies? Yes, yes, I did. I did count the bullies. Oh, can we get up there? Oh. I need my cat. And the music bobs. I know I say that a lot. Well, I guess I've only been singing it to Mario. Mario games actually have incredible music. <laughs> so. But this... And it's interesting that now I'm coming back up here. They're different. They have a different set of... Oh, they have a different set of... Ah! Oh, I'm carrying it! I'm carrying the kitten! Can I use it to attack? Okay, I have to test this. Oh, I can use cats to attack! <laughs> oh, there's some new stuff over there. So, is does every time I leave an area, more stuff show up? Because that's crazy. <laughs> like this. This wasn't here the last time I came over. challenges. I was thinking maybe this would be a very shallow experience, so it might be shorter than the full Mario game, but it's not a shallow experience at all. I would not <laughs> in any moment describe it as that, especially after already experiencing as much as I have in such a short amount of time. But it's actually... I don't find it as much of a bother. I was seeing a lot of people saying that the frequency in which Bowser shows up is kind of annoying. But I, so far I'm actually okay with it because there's multiple things I want to do when Bowser's here. Like, there are plenty of little secrets or things that I want to do and, like, have Bowser open up for me. So far I have another one over here that I want to open up. Uh, I know that he's probably not coming up. Soon, but this over here. This is kind of tricky because right at the moment he shoots, you gotta jump up and do this. They really want me to do it, but I really want to give all the secrets. <laughs> In Odyssey, when I was playing Odyssey, I got all 900 and whatever moons. I couldn't not. 
I couldn't not get on. <laughs> That's why I love 64. I love Sunshine. I love Odyssey. It's just because you keep going and you keep getting more. And it's just like... Alright, next time he shows up, I'm, I'm getting the big bell. So ever, we can all see what it does. I'm actually really excited. I know what it does, but I don't know exactly how it's going to work. And that's kind of the exciting part for me. Oh, here we go. The last time we were here, this wasn't up. This wasn't here. Let's see. Beast of the list! 14 cat creatures. And there's that island back in the distance. What's that? Oh, the little pedestal is a little cat. I didn't notice it, so it developed like the head of the cat. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's enjoy this. Let's see what this is all about. So cool! Oh wow, they even need a load. Come here, Bowser. Ooh, ooh! Oh no, in muck, I can't. Uh oh. Ooh! Get back, Bowser. Oh, oh. Oh, is he gonna burn? <laughs> it looked like it was about a bird. <laughs> like an alien. <laughs> that would be freaky. Okay, cat rainbow. <laughs> And again, all the levels in one place. You don't need to load. You don't need to do anything. Hello to our ice level. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more, more sink. He sank back into the lake. But trust me, it'll take more than that to beat my papa. We need to make him really see the light. The way to do it, that is to find more cat time. More of that blocky stuff went away, so there must be new islands to explore. Let's check on the map. Get going. Hurry up, Mario. Oh, wow. That's a big section. We just opened up a big section. And that's the crazy thing. That little small section had all of those moons, so... Oh, he has more to say. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot something important. If you get lost... Just press minus or the side and bring him in. Look, it's Plessy. <gasps> new cat, new cat. Calico? Hello. What's your deal, little Calico cat? Oh, cat doesn't like Martin. <gasps> Sad cat mama. What's up? Oh, you want me to bring- This is like the penguins. <laughs> We're gonna start throwing these cats off of everything. Hello, mama. Look who I brought to you. Oh. Yes. Lost kitten by the shore. Are the cheap cheap's cats? Of course. Of course they are. Why wouldn't the cheap cheap's be- why wouldn't the fish be cat? No, my nightmare, <laughs> Shadow Luigi. <laughs> what do I do to Shadow Luigi? Um, it couldn't be more nightmarish than this for me. <laughs> Hates Luigi, gets to see nightmare Shadow Luigi. 
Get him! Get him, cats! <laughs> Nintendo really got the message. They knew I hated Luigi. Catfish. Oh! <laughs> See what you did there. See what you did there. Ah, there's so much to do. <laughs> it's getting my my inner Mario anxiety. <laughs> I just want to do everything. Also, that's something I also heard people really enjoyed. Plessy just shows up everywhere, so you never feel like. Do I need to say? what this song is. <laughs> Do I need to sh say anything more than It's a bop! <laughs> it's totally good! Plus, you're going on land! <laughs> Plus! How do I dismount? Okay. solid like oh. any Mario platformer does. Like it feels very solid. Look at these guys chilling. I actually really love that. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm just on overload mode. I'm really just loving everything. <laughs> A message is ringing out from the Giga Bell. When the beast awakens, so shall- Oh wow, we already have enough. <laughs> That's what happens whenever I play a Mario game. I reach <laughs> the goal. I need to reach the goal. Uh, way before. I need to just because I'm just like, oh, I gotta click. Oh. Slip skate slope. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, wow, this is cool. Ooh, no, 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 no. no! Oh, I need to count down. Oh, that was closing in. My depth perception. No, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Cat mouse. Cat mouse. Cat mouse. Did anyone watch Cat Dog back in the day? I used to be a favorite of mine. Actually, no. I didn't actually blink it. I I watched it because when you're a kid, you just watch, especially before you know. Kids nowadays will never understand having to wait or just watch what's on. Because back in my day, I just had to watch whatever was on. I couldn't choose. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what that does? <laughs> uh oh. Koopa's with a C? Oh, they're fur. They're weird. Are you gonna swim, buddy? No, you just gave up. <laughs> I was about to say. Been seeing a lot of swimming related. Oh, Plessy isn't a cat. The music for Plessy is fantastic. I love it. I think it's so far my favorite song. Oh, okay. My favorite song in the game so far. Under baby. <laughs> While we do this, an agent of chaos watches. He knows too. Is he turning towards me? He knows too much. He knows everything. See, this is if you if you've been watching. Oh yeah, I need to put these guys. In. In my cat theme. You know that like those clouds. So going back to what I was saying, if you've been watching me play 3D World, you know that the clouds they do. I miss.
Bowser Jr., go do my dirty work. Cat hieroglyphs? Yeah, I did see those, but I don't know. Should I count those? Because, like, those aren't, like, a version of something that exists in Mario World that isn't. Like, cat hieroglyphs just exist. That's why I wasn't sure if I should add that one or not. The mail on my back just became a cat. Okay, what's the deal with this? Oh, oh. What is this new contraption? <laughs> I found the other cat! Come on, little kitty. Come on, little kitty. No! I killed it! Bowser, can I turn you off, Bowser? You're, you're helping me a little bit too. Yeah. Because I was gonna jump on these, Bowser. Now I can't, because you took them away. Bowser. Junior. Hmm. Cat Boom Boom. I guess so far, I guess the only thing I would say is that I wish... And that's not usually a big thing with Mario, but... I, so far, a lot of the enemies we've seen are just 3D world enemies with cat ears. And I wish maybe because in a lot of times Mario games they always have the same. Is that a Mega Bunny? They always have the same enemies, but they're used in new ways or placed in very nice ways. But like Boom Boom feels like because he's kind of like a mini boss. Especially early on, Mario had very creative new bosses. Like, think... Even even as bosses, like all the, the Koopa kids, and then in Super Mario World, you had, like, Reznor, the, the Triceratops guys that kept coming back. Uh, they were super fun to fight against, because they were difficult. They were creative. Obviously, they did reuse them a couple times within that same game, but they would add interesting twists on it. So I just wish that, of all the, um... Okay, I need to get to another... Another Bowser pile. Of all the... The things that they kept, I wish they wouldn't have kept. Um... Probably one of the easiest bosses in Mario history. Which is Boom Boom. Uh, where, where, where is Bowser? One thing that has always bothered me in games, though, is water texture. You see how you can see the pattern in the water? That always gets me. I feel like some games do a good job of you not being able to see them. But so many games... I remember a modern game that I thought had the worst of this was um, Metal Gear Solid V. It looked so bad. I, it really, I really didn't like it. <laughs> Hopefully, are the fish reset? No. So the the persistence of things are actually is actually very surprising. Like things don't respawn. I think I know what I need to catch that bunny. Oh. Is that bunny a cat? Yeah, come back here, bunny. Come on, bunny! Yeah, this is not a, a cat bunny. Frenzy Bowser. Um, 
Plessy? Plessy, oh. let's go. Yeah, this is like, this feels like an Odyssey DLC more than a 3D World DLC. Obviously, mechanics-wise is more like 3D World, but the pacing of this is so Odyssey. -y. It's so Odyssey. Alright, next time he shows up, I will... No, this time, 100%, I will use... Is this a new song? Lighthouse just had a bright idea. Have you tried using Amiibo? <laughs> if you hold blah, cause special things to happen. I wonder if my snake amiibo can do anything. That's the only amiibo I have on me. My snake amiibo. But I doubt that one is gonna do anything. This time, I- Oh, but I want to get to the top of this island, I guess. Alright. What in the world is that island just moving on its own? Okay, we gotta get to the Giga Bell. Cause I'm doing Giga Bell right now. Time to go Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan Mario. Let's go. Let's -a go. Crazy that Giga Mario is so ha heavy that it requires his, his own cutscene. I mean, uh, bring it on, that Whoa, whoa! Do I grab his tail? <laughs> That's all I know how to do. Oh, I get, I get another Giga Bell. Come on, come on. Meow, meow. Ooh, that was close. Get it, get it, Mario. Get it, get it. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're not gonna get me. Yeah! Gotcha. <laughs> is there a choir in the background? Yes, there is. There is a choir. <laughs> it's super epic. It is like, if you love kaiju stuff, this is the game for you. I don't think there is a good Godzilla game, so <laughs> Godzilla, get this game. The cat power-up is so good, though. That's the thing. The cat power-up kind of renders most other power-ups kind of useless. Unless you need to use them for something specific. Most of the other ones are kind of trash. <laughs> I don't know if I have time to do that with Bowser kind of up in the sky right now. Maybe I might be able to beat him this time. Yes! Capo. It looks like the... <laughs> the cat rainbow... Actually, a lot of the cat designs look like the... the bongo cat. <laughs> Fire level. Fire... Cat mountain. I think that counts. Usually mountains aren't cats. <laughs> oh, we finished opening up the island. So 
So, I guess we have all of it open. 40? The next one is 40? All right. So I guess we're not <laughs> we're not doing cat cat fights until we get to 40. That's crazy. Like I, I'm just I feel like I'm still just cr scratching the surface here. Okay, so let's actually do this one. We've been dancing around the invisible one. For What's the thing about this moving island? It keeps going away. Okay, I really really enjoy how they they're just expanding on the exploration of these things that like again we saw in one level. And now we're getting to see like, a full mini world of just these things. Here we go! Oh! Oh, weird. Okay. These islands keep coming. I guess I need to climb up. Get the shine. We opened that world and we haven't even explored this yet. It's flying. I guess this is flight world? I guess it's still hot. Oh, look at where the third cat is. How am I gonna bring this cat home? Okay. Oh, I like the... No music. Also, these flippers or whatever. They're cat. I'm surprised that the snowballs are cats at this point. Oh, the posts are cats. Ooh. I love how it's almost like a, a ballet. Might have been what they were going for. I could just get stuck on this. I am really enjoying it. And we get to the top and get the shine up top. And that will be it for Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury is immediately, in my opinion, much better than 3D World. Th 3D World felt a little bit stale for me. But this is immediately way more interesting. I love the new ideas that it's bringing. I love the... And that's not to say that I think 3D World is bad at all. Right? It's just that it... Even in the new things it brought, and in the creative levels, it was still more Mario. And, and that's never a complaint, really. But it's... Like, sometimes you do want to see something that is different. And creative. And this game is actually bringing a lot of bigger ideas to Mario. While the enemies are the same, they're doing so many other things that are far more interesting. This game is a blast. <laughs> it is, at least to me, way more exciting than... than uh, 3D World was. It, it really gives me Odyssey vibes, and I am okay with that. Because... <laughs> Odyssey, if anything is going for an Odyssey type thing, you know, more power to them. As, hey, it's not easy to pull off well, and to do it all in one world like this is even, even more difficult on a technical aspect as well. So, props to this game. So this is going to be it for this game today, so I will see you all soon.